lecture i'm going to discuss about how to fix unable to connect to the remote server using visual studio so here i'm using the visual studio and this is the reports that already i've created now if i click on this a start okay so i just click on the start then you will get the error message unable to connect the remote server this all so why this happening so this happening because if i go on this microsoft sql server then here this is selected reporting service and basic let's give the user and the password then here you can see this all information that is correct if i click on this connect then there I am getting the message the reporting service says instance could not be found. Okay, so this not found in the SQL server. So that here I just cancel. So we need to install. So for this one, let's click this uh, SQL server 2019. It can be the version can be different, but the process is the same. After that, click on this setup and thereafter you can see the installation. So inside the installation, then you can see here install SQL Server reporting services. So you need to click this. So there the new page that open and uh, okay, the new page that open, then here you can see hardware and uh, here you can see download SQL Server 2019 reporting service so click on this link then the new page that open from here you can select your favorite language and here you can see the details system requirement so after that click on this download so now uh, it will automatically comes the files the size is 1 not 5.78 mb click on this start download the file is uh, downloading and it will take only few minute times to complete the download so this is here executable file reporting service executable file that downloaded after that click on this open for installation now you can see this is the uh, install reporting service click there if i go on the back so you need to click this button and after that choose a free trial and this is for developer this is for e express so developer or uh, that so uh, no or uh, this will not expire express it also not expire okay and it will expire when you use your evo listen so any of these threads you can select so i'm going to select the developer okay after that click on this next and i accept click on this next install reporting service on this and or you can see you will see have the install data engine install service different server after that click on next so this location where reporting service that going to install click on this install so now you can see microsoft sql server 2019 reporting service this is package progress so microsoft sql server reporting service this is overall progress okay so now you can see it's so taken only few second times to complete the installation here setup completed configure and after that if you want then click on this configure report server so here you can see this is so uh, our server name and this is reporting service click on this connect and uh, here you can see this is service and uh, here web url that's all fine and click on this apply So now some process is going on. This is here. 
it's so successful and thereafter this is database so here you can see the change database if you want then you can uh, go to create a new report server and here you can select this all those things and uh, this is the name and this is credential now next So here, on uh, this all pro progress, click on this finish. After that, this also successful. Now the next is so uh, here. After if I go on this SSMS, click on this connect. Then reporting service Windows authentication. No need to give the password. So now this time, so here, there is no any problem, it's connected there. I'm going to click on this start and here you can see this is deploying to this location and uh, it succeeded. After that, you need to copy this one and open any of your favorite browser. There you need to paste and press enter. So you can see this tools information, click on this, then after click on this report. So here, this is report generated and if you want to see the second row, third, fourth, and it's all working. And this is for last page and here you can see all this on the Excel format, it's a downloaded. So this is how we can fix that issue. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.